So we are at the world headquarters of Helm Forge today, and this is my good friend James Helm. And today we are going to be making a brush sword. So stick with me. So essentially this is the pattern of the blade that is going to be made today. This is the bush sword, minus the tang obviously, but this thing is going to be an absolute monster. Should be. 
quarter up that goes on top of the rolled steel. And I will put a Turk's head nut at the front of the handle and at the back. With the end of it flared out like that, it gives a good mechanical lock to the knot to keep it from moving. It's also going to be epoxy. And then the knot provides a mechanical lock to your hand to keep the push sword from going flying out of your hand while you're cutting. It's time to thermal cycle this blade. Uh, we're going to normalize it three times. What we're doing is we're bringing it up to a certain temperature and then pulling it out and letting it air cool until there's no more heat color left in the blade. What that does is it relieves any stress that's in the steel and also refines the grain. The smaller the grain, the tougher the steel. Same alloy, same Rockwell hardness. The blade that has the finer grain is going to be the tougher blade that's harder to break. So it probably could have stood to be in there a little longer, but it ate the oxidation off for the most part. I'll sand the rest and leave that texture from forging it unmolested. So I'm filing by hand to refine the, the bevel, bring it down to its final thickness, and get rid of all the grinder marks. I want it to look like something that hasn't been made in your standard 20th century, 21st century American knife making shop. I like it to have a timeless look to it. So the grinding really speeds the process up to get it down thinner, get it closer to its final cutting edge. But if I didn't have the grinder, I could do the same thing with a file the whole way. It just would take a lot longer to do it. And we threw the stock removal ground and hand filed. And when our furnace is up to temperature. We're about to heat it up to quench and harden it. soaked as long as it needs to. And it's ready to quench in the oil and harden it. Okay, into the kiln to temper it. Okay, so I'm experimenting with something. I want to make a little palm swell on this uh, socket handle. So I'm adding a piece of neoprene on the bottom side here that will go under the main wrap. So we have the initial wrap and the two Turk's head knots to kind of help lock everything in place. 
And now he is going to apply the West Marine epoxy, clean all this up. And then we're gonna have some fun It'll scalp you. The spine will cut the coconut. <laughs> 